guys, I'm Teresa. Welcome back to our channel about our Japanese garden. Today we're talking about the area you can see right behind me. This is one of the last areas we actually landscaped in our garden. We just did that last year. And uh, this is a picture that you can find a lot in Japanese gardens, mainly in temples. So you see a graveled area and then you see mounds of moss that may or may not be planted. Also rocks, as I mentioned in the intro video, are a big part of Japanese gardens. So uh, let's have a closer look. I'll explain a little bit what we have done here and then we'll also do some planting later on in the video. So at the very beginning this area was just bare ground. Then first we put down underlay. Then we had this gravel delivered. This one is basalt. You can see there are bigger sizes and smaller sizes. Uh, we had about 10 tons coming in in big bags and we distributed that all by ourselves. Next we had a um, load, I think it was about 12 tons of topsoil coming in. This is what you can see here. And so this was just distributed roughly by the um, a truck with this bucket that came. Uh, and then the rest we actually shaped uh, with our hands with like shovels and rakes. Uh, to the shape that you can see here. At the end we just stepped on it because we wanted to prepare it for the moss to grow and we found that moss actually grows best on bare soil that is kind of hardened a little bit. Next we had rocks delivered. So you can see some here in the background and this very big one, this is our biggest one I think, right next to me. This one weighs about three tons, the other one are between two and three tons. So. Uh, what was very important when placing these rocks is to make sure that they're in the right position. Placing of rocks is also one big important element of Japanese gardens. This is a bit hard to explain really, you just have to do it as you go when you get the rocks delivered or place them yourself, like we did with some smaller ones in our garden. Um, but it's really kind of a feeling how the rock sits right. So for example, if you look at this one back there, um, this one, it feels that it sits right given the landscape and the surroundings. If you would imagine that rock would sit like at a, a 90 degree angle, so pointing that way, that would feel wrong really. The last step of this area was the planting. Uh, you can see this plant here and the two pines, the larger ones, the red pines behind me. Um, these plants we have actually transplanted from our main garden. Unfortunately, as you can see, this one here is uh, a smaller type of pine, so it grows more like a bush. Unfortunately, it didn't survive the winter. I'm not quite sure what the reason for that is. We always had it watered after transplanting, but sometimes pines, unfortunately, don't like being transplanted after they have been planted originally from the pot. Anyway, we're gonna get a new one. Uh, the reason I left this in because I wanted to show you guys the shape because you can see it looks like the wind has blown from the side. So it has a windswept shape and this is really, really cool. The reason for this is that it was shaded out on this side where it was originally down in the garden. And so it grew that way towards the light. So we'll, uh, we'll have to replace it later in the year. Back here we have two red pines, so they are still quite young. Um, however, this one I think survived the transplanting. It looks all right. It, it should get new shoots very soon, so we'll see. That one behind me, the smaller one, unfortunately we'll have to replace uh, later on in the year. Anyway, um, we'll go now to the very back of the area where we do some planting and I'll talk a bit more about positioning of the plants. This corner is not quite finished yet, so we're gonna be putting in two plants today. And um, we have already here some of the Japanese hollies. We have planted many of those in the first planting video that we released. And we had a few left and planted them here. They look really nice here. Uh, here you can see a stone lamp. This is something that is uh, very common in Japanese gardens. And you can see here there's already some moss growth on top, which is really nice. Behind me here we have a pine. This is also planted with transplanted from the main garden and this one has survived. So this one looks really nice and it's gonna have new shoots. You can already see them here. Now at the very back we have the two laurels I spoke about in the first planting video. So they found a home here and we want to achieve in the back here to for these laurels to get a bit taller so to cover up the fence and the roadside a little more. We went to the garden center this morning and found two more of those laurels. Unfortunately, they didn't have any more of the Japanese hollies, but maybe next time we'll find some more. And uh, we're going to go and position these two laurels first before planting. I'm going to show you that process. I talked a bit about that in the first planting video I did. 
So planting in Japanese gardens is supposed to look random. That means you don't have a, a formal or fixed pattern of plants. It really, yeah, just looks really, really random and very natural. Let's grab our laurels and position them and see how it looks. So I suggest we put one here. So eventually we want this area to be filled with laurel and one here. So in this scene of the garden, we only have one main view, which is the one from behind you, so where we came from. So we have to make sure that it looks good from that side. So let's have a quick look. And I think that looks pretty good. Then let's get ready for planting. done planting. I planted those two laurels with organic planting soil and uh, you saw at the end I put the, the dirt that is already here back onto the fresh soil. So uh, first of all it will keep it more moist because we got a loam type of soil here and secondly the most important for me that you cannot see that this has just been planted so it looks like as if it had always been there. Right, that's it for today guys. Please give us a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.